New at six, DC police say they are on the hunt tonight for suspects behind a violent crime spree in Northeast DC. I'm talking two shootings, a murder, and the carjacking of a city council candidate. The carjacking happened at a gas station on Nanny Helen Burroughs Avenue. A surveillance camera caught the entire thing. You can see it right there. Police believe that same car involved in the carjacking was also involved in a shooting on East Capitol Street and another on Cloud Place Northeast last night. Bruce Lashan has the story. This is pretty scary and the violence seems to be escalating. First, the carjacking, then two double shootings. In one of them, a teenager was killed. And in all three, what looks like the same burgundy Toyota Highlander was at the scene. And I've looked at the video. It, it's terrifying. The guy jumps out of the car. He's right next to you and he points a gun right at you. I was fearful, certainly fearful of my life. I've never seen, you know, a gun pointed at me, nothing like that. So I'm just lucky to be alive. I'm happy to be alive right now. DC Council candidate Nate Fleming was at a gas station in Northeast when four men confronted him with guns and demanded his BMW. He tossed them his keys and went inside to call for help after he thought they were gone. But one came back to threaten him again. They were worried that you would call for help so quickly that they wouldn't be able to get away. That's what I believe. Now police believe that same Burgundy Highlander that pulled up on Fleming may be involved in two more shootings Tuesday night, one on East Capitol Northeast that injured two men and then another on Cloud Place Northeast less than two hours later that left one man wounded and killed 19 year old Devin Brewer. And that's pretty scary. It's, it's very brazen, very dangerous individuals and individuals we want to get off the streets of the district. I think everyone in DC needs to be concerned about their safety at this time. It's a crisis, it's impacting everyone. Police say they have now recovered that Highlander torched and Fleming's BMW in okay condition, but they are still looking for the suspects involved in these violent crimes. At DC Police Headquarters, Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9.